I can't tell you the number of people that are like, my kids love yeah. science because they saw your role. Like they want to be in STEM now or with Moonlight, you know, my, my, my son, you know, is, 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 is gay, you know, is queer. I know be, I know how to be an ally. I know how to support my kid because of your role as right. Teresa. And I think that's what movies and storytelling in Did general. Did you know that in the pages that it was going to be that impactful? Oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. When I, I read, I read it. I think I was sitting in economy on Delta and I had my, um, hood over my head and I was just remember crying just thinking like we need this film big boys neighborhood beautiful day in the neighborhood ladies and gentlemen back in the neighborhood Janelle Monet, welcome Ooh. back how are you doing oh my goodness you look I'm like a trillion so bucks yeah. what do I yeah hey let me pose uh, welcome uh, uh, hey uh, uh, let me tell uh, you you uh, are mm, extreme and, and people can go with the beauty but also you are extremely talented mm. oh, do you ever you. feel like your talent isn't appreciated the way that it should be like and not that everything is so simple right now but when i see you sing dance perform play everything and, and not even on the acting side i'm just talking about the music side do you ever feel like we miss that <laughs> No, absolutely okay. not. I am loved. Yeah. I'm loved. And and I mean, honestly, it starts with me. Yeah, I heard like, that. I fuck with me. Yeah, you know yeah. What I mean? The validation starts I learned, here. I stopped I stopped thinking about, you know, when I first started in this, you know, in in, in from being an independent artist, like I had to get a get a good sense of the 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 inner voice the mm -hmm. the the say I'll be all is how I feel about me. How do you and arrive at that me. though? Because like right yeah. now Everybody has something to say. Everybody's a critic. Social media yeah. make make you a professional <laughs> hater. You know yeah. what I'm saying? How, how do you subscribe to being yourself as opposed to how so much clutter is out there? I mean, like I said, like there's nobody's voice that is, you know, that 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 has more weight, more power mm. than the voice that I have about me. I mean, everybody has their job, right. you know, yeah, everybody yeah, yeah. has their job and I'm an artist. So I'm focusing on art. Did you, was that easy for you or is it something, and, and, and not like it's a light switch. Was it a light switch or was it more of a dimmer where you kind of realize? Well, I mean, you just, you, you realize that you're dealing with a lot of projection. Mm -hmm. You know, you don't know everybody around the world, what their experiences are. And everybody's opinion is valid to them. Right, to them. Yeah. Right, you know, and that's how I live. Like, it's like, okay, all right, that's how you feel. All right, all right. We haven't had you in the neighborhood for a few years. Of course, the pandemic knocked everybody off the square. You know oh what I'm saying? God. What did you do during that time? Because now when you look at it, sometimes I'll ride with my guy, Jose, and I'm like, man, remember when there was no traffic? Yeah. Remember when there was nobody Ooh. in the building? When there was stickers <laughs> on the floor and everything yeah. was just crazy? You'll watch things and it'd be like, oh, Paris, this, Italy. Like, every, the world yeah. was affected. Was what did crazy. you do during, and I mean, I think we're still in the pandemic, you know, but yeah. when it was crazy, shut down man i i just had to find my 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 tribe my people and just lay low i mean we also were spraying lysol on cardboard boxes yeah, Remember yeah. That? i it, know it i went, was it yeah. went from we you know it felt like oh, okay we in a snow day you know yay come over da, 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 to like stay away from me yeah get Hell away yeah. from me it was scary because a lot of things for me got canceled like i was supposed to go on tour i think i had done the last show I did in 2020 was the Oscars. Mm. I opened the Oscars and that was really a beautiful moment. Yeah. And then I was supposed to keep going on tour and everything got canceled. So I was, you know, like a lot of people out of work. Right. Um, but I also was uh, did you able use to that work time? from home. I did. I wrote yeah. a book. Yeah. I wrote a book called The Memory Librarian. It ended up on New York Times bestseller list. Uh, sci-fi and that was during the, yep. the pandemic yep I sure did <laughs> cause I was telling people I was like man we don't know how long this is gonna last Yeah, you, we can't wait it out yeah. and you did see a lot of people that tapped in a lot of people did a pivot yeah. you know and a lot of and, and, and some people were like you know I gotta make sure that I become something either different and you saw yes. a lot of people invest in yes. them too yep all I, that happened too you yeah. know I mean being an artist I also had a, 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 a unique and I'm not gonna Say, because there are a lot of people out of work. Mm -hmm. We fed a lot of people. We fed, we gave out about over 35,000 meals. Praise God. And with, with my uh, company, Wonderland, and a lot of local people here in, in, in L.A. So, 
Uh, we were doing a lot of community service, and I did have an opportunity to do some healing, you know, yeah. and, and come out of this. Um, uh, I will say I feel like I feel like a new artist right now, you know, like it's like with fresh eyes and, mm -hmm. you know, you, I had an opportunity, a unique opportunity to sit with me. Yeah. And, and you know what that, you, if, if you know what that feels like, you know what I'm saying. That's what I was going to say too, <laughs> because at no point could you had scheduled that kind of time with yeah. the world moving. Nah, we were moving, 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 yeah. moving. Yeah. yeah. So you definitely couldn't schedule some, some time. Even with me, I was still doing radio, but it got you to where, you know, I did some therapy work. Mm. I, I went away to this one spot once we kind of cleared up and I did like nine days mm. of just, it, it, it was beautiful. Oh, but I, I, I want to hear more about oh, that. Oh yeah. And I tapped yeah. into that during the pandemic. I yeah. tapped more into me yeah. during the pandemic because yeah. I wasn't trying to hear every, you yeah. know, everybody was going through this and that. Yeah. Everybody was going through that pandemic. Yeah. And then you had this other real stuff that you had to deal with. Yeah. So I was dealing with the, that, the pandemic. Okay. I'm here. Now yeah. let me deal with this, <laughs> yeah. with this yeah. person, yeah. you know, this man in the mirror kind of no, thing. No, no, I think you're you're spot on, you know, and and um, you know, my heart goes out to people that we lost during the mm -hmm. pandemic and people who who didn't have the time that we had. And I said, listen, if I have this time, I I need to like this is a good time for healing. Mm -hmm. You know, when they say stay in, yeah. you need to go in. And I will say, I feel like I'm. I I feel I I, I feel like a new person it was like life before the pandemic right. for me yeah. and then kind of you know we're kind of still in it right yeah but there were some epiphany epiphanies i had some conversations i had to have with myself yeah man uh, what about did, people too yeah conversations yeah. you have to have with people i did a lot of going back to childhood you know going to the root mm -hmm. of 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 the trauma of, of of things that you know you you didn't have time to address because we're moving yeah. so much. Yeah. You know, we just, we didn't, it's, it's easy to live in the future, but it's, it's more difficult to deal with the present. Right? Yeah, man. And then that and past to sit too. in that present and the past. Yeah. 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 For so sure. Not only writing the book, did you, did you write more material? Did you find yourself either yeah. writing more or did you find yourself experimenting more? Okay. So I went to shoot a film mm. um, called Glass Onion. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Knives oh. Out. <laughs> Yeah, think you all bad, huh? <laughs> you know so amazing. Did y'all watch it? Oh, oh yeah. God, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay, thank you. You were you. amazing. Oh my gosh, I had so much fun. <laughs> it was so much fun. We shot that in Greece, and yeah, working with Edward Norton, working with Daniel Craig, Kate Hudson. I mean, it was like an all star. And you cast. get real roles. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and let me tell you, and the reason why I say that is because I've done movies. But yeah. I had to stop you because good then, no. but I all mine was playing screen. like big boy too. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And then it got. I'm like, well, how long am I on set? They're like, oh man, a couple hours. <laughs> and who, who's my character? Oh, yeah. you a DJ? Like, oh. <laughs> like a DJ? Like no radio personality. Yeah. And I'm like, man, I'm playing myself. You like stretch me? I need to stretch. <laughs> yeah, stretch man, me, I yeah. want to cry in a movie. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but nah, but you get like real roles. You know what I'm saying? Thank and you. and and even. Do they say that we want Janelle Monet, or do you have to still kind of audition? Yeah, I mean, with this one, um, the director, you know, had actually seen my previous work, mm -hmm. and and he saw when I did my album Dirty Computer, I released a short film that we wrote, and he saw that, and he was like, "This particular role requires you to go into characters." So if you haven't seen Glass Onion, this is a spoiler alert. It's been out um, for a little bit. Uh, but I play multiple characters. And so he was like, the way you are able to 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 play these different characters from androids to, you know, whatever you do in your 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 videos and what I've seen you do, I want you for this role. So this one was I didn't you know, I, I think I did like a, a on camera sort of like, you know, he just wanted to see. Right. But um, he was pretty sure that 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 it was going to be. me. How do you tap into that, though? Because I remember years ago I was speaking with um Cuba Gooding Jr. with his bro when he did radio uh -huh. and he was like man he went so far in on that character mm -hmm. yeah. that it was hard to kind of pull him out yeah. you know so Ooh. are you yeah. a, are you a cut and you out of it mm -mm. yeah no I feel him I did shoot I think when I did Antebellum oh, Lord. I had that on me for a minute like I I literally have to say to myself like I release you I release you like Andy it was wonderful you know Stand in your spirit, but I release you. I have Can to get you back to recognize me. that while it's going on? Yeah, is it for scary? Sure. 
Yeah, because I don't like when I was doing this role because I knew it was going to require a lot more of me. Mm-hmm. Like I didn't talk to a lot of my friends and my families. I was a little bit more isolated because right. I needed to stay in character. This role required me. <laughs> if you saw the film, like I was basically playing, you know, Helen playing Andy. Mm-hmm. And also playing Helen pretending to be Andy before the audience yeah. found out. And Did you ever go in and mess up the wrong pretend- lines? <laughs> no, like, wait, like, like I, had to, I had to. I had to. No, I, and, and thankfully the director was also the writer, so he was there to say, you know, okay, Janelle, this is kind of where we are. But when I'm in it, like when I'm focused and locked in, and and you know, I've been doing this. There's not a time in my life where I wasn't acting and right. singing at the same time. It was like I was in a Shakespeare, Shakespearean play doing monologues in middle school or I was on stage doing cover songs of like My Life by Mary J. Blige. Like I was always going back and forth. Um, where did that start yeah. for you? You know, because sometimes even with, with me, you know, I used, I tried it all. Singing, yeah. dancing, did you? rapping. I need to see your singing tape. Everything. <laughs> but you know, it's a trip with my singing. I used, and I was telling the neighborhood this as well, Janelle Monet. I was like, dude, I used to know how to sing. Yeah. But I didn't ride my vocal cord change. Ah. Like I can sing now and I'm decent, but yeah. I didn't ride that change. But wow. I would throw everything up against the wall, rapping, DJing and everything. Yeah. But 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 I loved music yeah. and I loved entertaining. Yes. You know, yeah. and, and so with you it was the same thing. Like, dude, I just like I yeah. did plays. I just I just love yeah. entertaining. Creating. Yes. And I love community. Yeah. I like working with people. I like building, you know, with the community of people that are just as crazy mm-hmm. and weird and, you know, risk taking as 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 I. I am and I, I aspire to be always. And, you know, when you got black parents, yeah. they're going to egg you on. Yeah. They're going to tell oh, yeah. you it's nothing you can't do. That's my baby. That's my niece. Like I had all my drunk uncles at the front row talent showcases oh. ready to fight. Yeah. See, I told y'all. Yeah, I told y'all to fight. The family yeah. fight. Man. You don't say oh, my nothing. God. Hey, man. And then plus we didn't have, like you know, growing up, we didn't have 300 channels and cell phones. Yeah. So I and my brothers or my friend, we were the entertainment. Mm. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And yeah. I enjoyed being the entertainment yeah. was there music and everything in your household do, oh yeah do you come from a background yeah my my dad's side both his sides they would be in the church so mm-hmm. one side i would compare my dad's dad's side to like james brown real gotcha. like that deep south soul sweating on the forehead perm mm-hmm. coming up <laughs> relaxer out everywhere um and then the other side was a little bit more like operatic seven day mm. advantage like just beautiful but I, so i went back and forth from that soul to you know super kind of pristine um vocal vocal cords clear vocal mm. cords and just hearing that was amazing and then my mama my mama let me listen to everything i listened yeah. i was listening to machiavelli tupac me against the world swv ba- like i had parents so you were really able young to bring parents. it all in yeah i had really young parents and they let me listen to everything and that's where i kind of got my eclectic taste mm-hmm. from when it was time for me to do music i was like oh i'm doing everything where did that come from though because because yeah. you you can listen to it when do you say i want to create were you were you writing then did the did, did poetry yeah. turn into songs and english was my favorite mm. i was i was an english ap growing up damn i heard that yeah i was i was really good at english so i love writing and then i got into a program they took maybe like 12 inner city kids and i was writing short stories for the Coterie Theater, uh, the Young Playwrights Roundtable at the Coterie Theater. So if your short story was good enough, the local actors would perform it. And how old are you around so that I time? So I love. I had to be like, I had to be in a freshman. Damn. And it was crazy. Ooh, just thinking about that, I remember being kicked out of that program. Why? And the Did reason your family go and fight too? <laughs> they they did but you know i got my so, nephew kicked out of his uh after school program how did but, you do <laughs> you did yeah man how you do that acting a fool sorry man. i know he was <laughs> devastated oh man his sister too sorry sheila <laughs> sorry sheila i was devastated me and my mom shared the same car mm-hmm. i would go to school dro- I'd drop her off i would go to school after school i would go pick her up but there were some times she wasn't she wasn't done right. you know how your mom would be like i'm not done yeah you got to wait. I can't leave my mom. So I didn't leave her. And it made me late oh. to the program. So l- life, real life, life got in the way. Life. And I was devastated. I thought I was like, oh, where do this you is put the, that energy to, though? Like you can't. Oh. Can you blame your mom? No. Can you blame the school? Can't like. 
Yeah. No, I mean, at that time as a kid, you just yeah. mad, you crying, you just like, this is it. Because I wanted to go to New York. That was right. my big thing. I was like, I'm going to New York. And that had to mean to a lot it did. at that time. Like when you when you fast forward and you see the accolades and everything now. Yeah. But at that moment. Yeah. Oh, it man. was crushing, devastating. I was It was just like, that's it for me. And thank God it yeah. wasn't, you know. And so now being able to still act and 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 also I have a real affinity in my heart for for kids who grow up, you know, the working class parents who are right. trying to make it. Like we got a, the teacher, shout out to teachers that further investigate. They don't just kick people out of programs. Mm -hmm. You know, you this is life. You got kids who are paying bills with, with yeah, their parents, man. helping out, sharing cars. And I was one of those kids. When, when does it get to where, you know, because music and talent at first don't pay the bills. No. You know what I'm saying? So, no. it, it, and I like mean, I, I did used to win that. about a good 500 Right. Every time we did a talent showcase. Oh, okay. Ooh. So that was a little yeah. bit. You know, you pay for the outfits. Hell you put yeah. a little bit on the light bill for your mama or something. Hey, man, but, but that's good. <laughs> even winning. And, and, and even those victories yeah. is like, we won. Yeah. Not, and, and hoping yeah. for what's around the corner. Yeah. But probably, you know, and that's that whole thing where I say, man, you step out on faith, even if you can't see the whole staircase. Like, you yeah. really like... That was huge. That was it. And then even when you look in your rearview mirror, you still understand yeah. the size of that 500. Yeah. But not knowing what else was coming. No. Nope. Like hoping something else was coming. But then when you look now, yeah. a lot came after that. Yeah. You know? Absolutely. What What are you doing between while you still, you know, honing the craft? Yeah. Living the life. You know what I'm saying? Like, Whew. you got to eat. I know. That's right. I mean, for me... um, Again, I've just been really thankful. I mean, I'm moving in gratitude mm -hmm. these days, like actively moving in gratitude, even when things are not how I may want them to be. And I think uh, a lot of a lot of my focus, I was just kind of always in the future a lot. And I'm super focused on staying present. Mm -hmm. And and this is all we got right here. You know, one one of the things that I I've, I've realized is that I'm much happier when I'm present, too. You know, I think there's that saying, like, when you're thinking about the past, you right. kind of sitting in depression. Yeah. Shoulda, coulda, yeah, woulda, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you're thinking about the future, your anxiety. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What if? What if this doesn't? But when I'm present, when I'm here with you, when I'm here, this is it. This is life. And that's what I'm on. And uh, I had an opportunity to create music again from that space, mm -hmm. like honoring now. Honoring who I am now. And what's what's going on with Janelle Monet as far as like album? Because it, it's been some sprinkles. You, you, <laughs> some you know what I'm saying? Sprinkles and sprinkles. Yeah, yeah, but but is this is this has it been album mode? Is there a body of music right now? Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. It's I, I'm so I can, I can't wait. Like I'm at that point. I don't know if you've ever had that feeling where you just be like, and I probably shouldn't say this, but you just be like, God, I don't want nothing to happen. Like, I need everything. Like, let me just see this moment. I don't I know, know if it, that makes sense. No. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, you just want to stay in the house for a little bit because you like, I got to get to this moment. Amen. I see the vision. <laughs> I see the tour. I see... I Amen. see everything. Like, don't. There's times I'm not when I'm just no like, trouble. all I got to do, just just stay alive. Yep. Stay alive, yes. man. Or stay, stay free. Yes. Stay, yeah. I know That's exactly what you're That's talking about. Because you already see it. Yeah. you just like, man, I, I just got to get there. I just, I just need to get there. I don't need to make no, you know, unnecessary, ridiculous yeah. thing. You know, and I'm I'm pretty like I, I love my circle and I, you know, I'm in a, a good a good space. But that's how excited I am right. about music and and just where where I am. Like I feel like a new artist right now. Does it feel different with the lab work that you've done? Because you probably did have a little bit of quiet time, shut down time. Yep energy switching you know what i'm saying and oh, yeah. can, does that reflect in your music as well oh yeah not that you went into it but you arrive and you're like oh, okay yeah something yeah something feels a little different here yeah mm -hmm. yeah you know one of my favorite songs is um the way of the world yeah the way of the world and by earth wind and fire yeah that's the way of or the world. actually let me hold on yeah let me let me let me because this is a good quote um, so I had, so one of my, I, I love earth, wind and fire. Yeah. And I remember just kind of being at home and going back to, you go back to, you always go back to your records that like center you. Mm -hmm. I know you have your, you might have Stevie or you might have, for me is Stevie is earth, wind and fire. 
Because I remember my dad playing that, you know, when I was growing up. He had this purple Cadillac. Mm. Don't ask me why he had it. <laughs> he had it. And he would always play Earth, Wind & Fire. And one of my favorite things that Maurice White says on, you know, The Way of the World, he says, uh, I want you to stop. Whatever you're doing, just stop. And he says something like, you know, they say the beauty is an eye of the beholder, but that, you know, that's not a fact because you are as beautiful as your thoughts. Mm. You got to love you and love all the beautiful things around you, the trees, the birds. And this is the key for me. And if there ain't no beauty, you got to make some beauty and mercy. Hey, man, have you ever met Maurice White? I never got an opportunity. Hey, man. Have you? Oh, yeah. Oh, Oh, yeah, man. Yeah, man. So and it sick. was it was like magical too because I grew up yeah off of Earth, Wind and Fire. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And I'm that was one of those things where my brother Keith, rest in peace, he introduced me to so much music. Yeah. And that's why with me too, like I, I remember grabbing vinyl and I would mm. I would look at the the threading the needle and then yeah. how they would write little messages into the acetate All that. like yeah. I studied music yes and so I yes, was you did. I was somewhere one day and someone came up to me and they said hey you know there's a guy that really want to meet you and you know hopefully he's not bothering you so on and uh. so forth he was like hey he said I'm Maurice White's son such and such and he was like my oh dad my and I'm like uh I would have cried. Did you cry? Nah, Please. No, nah, I didn't cry. I can <laughs> lie to you. But it yeah. was it was so surreal because yeah. he doesn't know. Yes. And I told him and I, t- I and he was probably like, "All right, big enough." But but I <laughs> yeah. because I grew up and I had when I had nothing, I had music. Yeah. And music yeah. painted a picture that was mm-hmm. bigger than the apartment that eight people lived in a yeah. two bedroom it was like yeah. and i would put on headphones or i close my eyes and i never had my own room yeah. right until right. i moved out of the house but wow. i was I, Why, are we music- are we the same people because yeah. i shared a room with my sister <laughs> oh my until god i went to college yeah. like we had it double was beds. me and my brothers until <laughs> i moved out it was wow. like all right you know my brother mouse moved first then it was me yeah. and Keith. but but yeah but that was like music was my escape yeah and same. he did not under he understood when i told him yeah but he, the feeling that i had yes with earth wind and fire and with it's music and every, y'all yeah it's a warm yeah i mean uh so when he said if there ain't no beauty you got to make some beauty mm-hmm. and so when i went into you know making music this time around that was my goal, you know, even you in spite of... You took that with of, you? Even in spite, yeah, I took that with me. I was like, what, what's going on around me? And another thing that was going on, uh, we were having illegal parties. Because you don't remember... <laughs> oh, yeah, when you couldn't gather? <laughs> you couldn't gather. Yeah. Oh, we was <laughs> gathering. But we had tests. We had tests. Right, yeah, yeah, same. And it was like an indoor-outdoor vibe. So right. people stayed outdoors. So my friends, shout out to everyday people. I don't know if you know about that party mm-hmm. collective. But it's like super diasporic. It's people, Ghana... Atlanta, mm-hmm. um, you know, L.A., uh, Jamaica, like the most beautiful black people mm-hmm. coming together and just partying. And it's a, a, a collective. DJ MoMA is like one of the main DJs. Mm-hmm. And they couldn't find a venue. to Nobody Uh-oh. would like. So here you are. And so here I am talking. I was like, shit, y'all can come over. Right. Come over here. Come over here. <laughs> I'm like, dying I, to see people. Come on. Like I got testing. <laughs> yes, we got testing. So we had like a couple of those parties. And that was when I was like. This is the black joy mm. that I want to I want to make music for these people. I mean, it's 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 super like, you know, everybody was around where we had people from Brazil. We had it, I mean, but it was just like the most beautiful black and brown people, strangers smiling at each other, like a small group, less than. You know, 150 people, mm-hmm. which was still illegal. We'll go yeah, it, it was still. You know, it could have got a, it could have got a shut down. Yeah. I think we got shut down maybe one time, but it started from like 4 p.m. all the way to six in the morning. I heard that everybody was just free in the pool. You know, That's <laughs> you start with your clothes. Yeah. You look, you 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 come dry, you leave wet. I heard that it's like one of those vibes. Like I mean, I'm sure it was like a house party, but it was outdoors. It, it was just incredible. Did and you so, charge people to get in? No. Nah, I definitely nah. would have charged. <laughs> but it's all about <laughs> frequency. Your, yeah, that is your true. energy. That is true, yeah. You know, people there, it wasn't about like celebrities. Like some of my friends would pop up, Lizzo and Anderson Pack, And, you know, you had a lot of like artists that would come through. But it was right. about your vibe. Right. And, and, and I was like, 
this or not or not. Mm-hmm. I need to make music for this. And if none of the songs work at these parties, I'm not putting them on an album. Did you ever record anything and play it and press yes. play and just lean back? On it yes. Right so this is what I would do, literally. And I would I would I would say, OK, and I have my friend, um, my friends who are also producers quarantine with me. We would be like, OK, the party's on Saturday. We got Monday to, to Wednesday <laughs> yeah. to make, make three some. songs. OK. If they can't, we got to make sure like they're ready for Friday, Saturday. And if they don't work, we ain't going to tell nobody it's me. I'm going to just put them on. Mm. And I remember putting on Float. I remember putting on some of the songs. And that, and I was like, oh, how are people moving? Okay, okay, good, good, good. Because I really did They were like, girl, want, are you okay? Because you like. Yeah, I'm looking. I'm stressed. <laughs> I'm over in the corner with a drink in my hand like, they moving. What they saying? And this is what, this how you know. If they start shazamming. Right. Oh. That's how you know. And when I saw like, people being like, this? who like, song? Shazam, I was like, yes. Ah, uh, this is it. Talk to me about flow. This is it. Oh, man, flow. Uh, it's a perfect description of how I am and how mm. how my transformation or my evolution um, is. And, you know, when you think about the word float, you know, imagine, this is the best analogy, imagine being in the ocean and you got 50 pounds of, or 50 gallons of just like bricks on your stomach and you're trying to float, you're not going to float. Mm-hmm. You're going to sink. So it was about letting go of a lot of things that just did not allow me to rise or float to mm-hmm. the greatest version of myself. Was it therapeutic for you? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And I talk about it, you know, in, in some of the lyrics, you know, I, I got I start, some of the lyrics say, you know, I'm light as a feather. I'm light as a feather. Yeah, baby, I float. That was like my version of, you know, Muhammad Ali when he yeah, says, yeah. Uh, float, float like, like a, a butterfly, butterfly, sting like a bee. Um, and it's hard to look at my resume and not find a reason to toast. Did you ever want to keep that for yourself? Or you, did you feel like we had to hear it? You know that some yeah. songs are so personal yeah. that you're like, like, yeah, this this is a good one for me. Yeah. No, it is for me. But I, I think in talking to people, you know, I had more conversations, you know, as we were having these parties and meeting people at three in the morning, I'm having a conversation with somebody that's we're connecting over things that we're moving, we're moving mm-hmm. away from, you know, or that we're going towards, you know, we're discovering new things about ourselves. And it's like, this is the frequency in which I feel like we're all we're all moving on. Like, even if you're not there, you're trying to figure out, shit, how do, how can I float? Mm-hmm. You know, how can I float? Even in spite, and it's not saying like, oh, I'm, you know, in this perfect space. It's like in spite of, in spite of everything that's going on in the world, how are you going to handle what's being served your way? I think when you, when you said the, just the whole kind of the in the pool as well, like yeah. I really understood it. Yeah. When you say if you're if you're trying to float and and I think that with even when I say, you know, the work that we continue to do, because now yeah. we even have more dialogue yeah. about how we feel. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. I, I also come from an era of suck it up, man. What man? Black mm. man don't do you know what I'm saying? Mm. Like we didn't talk about insecurities and, and peeling off layers and, you know, yeah. those, those kind of things. But now. You know, even growing up, it was like, oh, he's going to go see a shrink yeah, or a head was, doctor. It was right, all these right. titles. Negative. That made, yeah, that made yeah. you didn't feel Stigma. like. Stigma. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And now you can have conversation. Yeah. Now you can say, same here, me too. Yeah. This is how I feel. Yeah. And you also get a reflection of it when you do, because music is also, for me, it's a takeaway. Yeah. yeah. And when you hear certain songs, you will hear something and you're like, that's the way I'm feeling right now. Yeah. So when you wrote Float or when yeah. you do Float, that's a song that people could say, she tapped into how I'm feeling. Yeah. Yeah. You know I've what I'm saying? That, I've heard that a lot. And you've heard, yeah. and not only have you heard that probably about your songs yeah. and, and Float, you also, when you'll say, man, like, damn, that earth, wind, and fire, that's the way of the world. Yeah. yeah. This, you are to many what Maurice White and Earth, Wind, and Fire were mm. to you. Wow. You, and I'm pretty sure you get a lot of people that will come that. up and say thank you. Yeah. Or this got me through. Yeah. Man, no, I that that's a you know a a, a big you know compliment and and 
And um, yeah, I think I think that we have our people that are on our frequency. Mm-hmm. That's why I never, you know, if people say like, oh, I don't like her music or the, it's like we not on the same frequency. Right, right. And that's OK. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like. I don't that, think if somebody says beautiful they don't like it pretty much. Yeah, it does. It's not negative. Yeah. It's I just don't like, think they listen to oh, it. Oh, you don't see. <laughs> <laughs> you see so no, uh, and, and real talk because and that's what I say uh, as well. I say, you know what? All I can do is super serve my audience. Yeah. You know, if, if, if I'm sitting and I'm doing a concert at the the crypto.com arena, yeah. I can't worry about what's going no. on in, in the Inglewood Forum. No. You know, all, all exactly. I can do is so so I understand when you say, okay, you know what? Maybe this wasn't for you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because sometimes I can miss moments, Mm -hmm. you know, and then come to like, oh, I didn't really mess with it back then. But now I get it. Right. So it's really all about when artists are writing. First of all, it got to hit me first. Mm -hmm. Like I have to be honest to who I am. Do I believe it? And and those are the artists that I connect with the most when they are honoring their vulnerability, Mm -hmm. whatever their truth is at that moment, whether I'm in agreement with it or not, I can respect that. And I feel that. And I think once I, you know, like got a good sense of like who I am right now uh, and I started working with flow, it flowed. Like mm. I, I wrote, I remember I didn't, I didn't take a long time to write it. It, li- it literally was like water. <laughs> it was like, oh, 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 oh. And I'm also having fun. Big boy. Oh, oh my God. You seem to be having like, a lot of fun. I'm listen, I am li- I am so just like super present, super just like actively putting myself in situations that I feel like are gonna be fun mm-hmm. yeah. and worth my time. <laughs> and especially now when you start to figure out who really is in control of, of the, your destinies as well. Yeah. Did you bring me any float boots? You know oh, those damn boots. <laughs> It's, I had to get mine customized. I know. I, it was I saw too that. many people with the red ones. With the red, and I'm yeah. and I'm I'm sorry. I'm still like I gotta be a little. I gotta you know be a little different. So I got them customized, and yeah. I did make I did put some clouds on them. Yeah, I saw that. And uh, for it All almost sounded like you didn't bring me a pair. I I know. You know what? Next time, yeah, I got you. Be greater later. I got you. The I got you because we floating all year. The phenomenon of those red boots. Mm-hmm. Did anybody feel that it was taboo <laughs> to no, take I the red? Loved Wait, and, take the what? And take the red and redo them. Oh, don't ask mystery. <laughs> uh, they did give them to me. You know, I love oh. y'all. They did. They sent them to me, and and I just yeah, I was like, look, that's what we do. Like people customize stuff all the time. I heard. Like, that. listen, people are gonna buy them red boots, right? But um, it's fun. They're bringing. It's crazy are they boys. comfy? They are okay. But everybody, I will say this, and this might be a little petty. Um, y'all yeah, saw the people. I don't know who. I don't know people's names, but they had a hard time getting the boots off. Yeah, I off. saw that video. I didn't have a hard time getting them off. It's kind of like a Cinderella slipper, right? Hello, mm. you say know, it. it's like everybody's foot is not made for the mm-hmm. glass slipper. Say the person's name. <laughs> I don't who know. Say it. I don't know them. I swear, I don't I, know them. To be honest Man. with you, I f- it looked like Meek Mill, but I don't think oh, it was Meek Mill. It. Oh, it was like I a guy. See it. If it was a guy on the floor, and they just kept pulling and pulling. Yeah, I will say, like you have to have a smaller calf. Yeah. For uh, these, so if your calves ain't built. Ooh. Like to like you gotta uh, have a little space. My salt inside. intake been a lot, man. Yeah, so. you can't eat no salt. <laughs> yeah, I got a little you water. Know, peanuts yeah, I got, or I got a little fries. information and retention hanging on right now. <laughs> you got Did you yeah. get mercury poison? A while ago. How you remember how that? How in the hell? Yeah. Oh my god. Because you know how people say, Oh man, you know PTSD. I, I go, PTSD. <laughs> yeah, but but when you go and say, Man, I'm just gonna do fish and, and people yeah. say certain things can happen, but you're like, Man, I gotta eat a lot. Yeah, for that to happen, I did. I did. How did you get mercury poison? Oh my god! And is that something that goes away? Yeah, yeah. Okay, I, I had to get like I had to take these because you know I almost turned down the stretch. interview. I was like, man, she got mercury poison. No, <laughs> you <laughs> thought you didn't know what it was? You were like, <laughs> you know, is this people, contagious? Well, people don't know. Like, man, no, man, I gotta wear a mask. Man. I gotta <laughs> like give me a mercury mask. No, I, I feel you. <laughs> I didn't know what the hell it was either until my doctor was like, oh, let me just test you because I told him I'd become a pescatarian. Mm-hmm. And I was only doing fish, but I was doing a lot of tuna. Right. That'll get you the ahi. We are messing up our ocean by mm-hmm. dumping metals mm-hmm. and heavy metals into the ocean. The fish are eating them. And so when they're taking the fish and cooking it, you're eating all the metals right. that people are dumping. All of the oils, all of that stuff is affecting us. Like and we you- have to... 
you think you're doing something so right. Yeah. Yeah, you're like, oh, okay, yeah. You I'm know. eating a little sushi here and there. I'm trying to, but um, it was a big educational moment for me. Like I'm super, you know, more health, healthy now. It didn't, it, would, it just left me fatigued. Right. I was a little, like my brain was foggy. I noticed all those little things. And then once I, I had to take, these like pills that extracted it and you pee it out and it, it took me like a good six months to like Damn. really cleanse my system are yeah. you really on top of like your nutrition and diet and things of that nature now i try to be yeah um you know i try to work out i try to do all those things but just like everybody else i don't be feeling it yeah yeah mm-hmm. yeah mm-hmm. yeah i was in the gym I was sometimes in the gym. it's hard About three weeks ago it's mentally. It's a lot. It's just men- <laughs> yeah. mentally you got to get to a yeah. place where you can get up out the bed. You can do it. But I've learned, though, I always feel better after exercise. Yeah, same. Like when I, I can be in the most. All I got to do is do it. Uh, <laughs> mood mode. And after I exercise, I'm like, hey, what's do you up? Ever, where are we going? Let's do you go ever out. charge like a performance to the workout? Be like, I'm performing. So that's, that's like my workout. Oh, yeah. yeah. When I go on tour, I'm doing 90 <laughs> minutes high energy and you not like one you, of the like you don't sit <laughs> you like you're like everywhere oh yeah we mm-hmm. we out you yeah know. i saw the video of you hanging from the catwalk the rafters and you <gasps> no I but was. no you know but i, I was I climbing really see trees that. No, and... but you really perform had that always been you as a performer because sometimes we get people and they make great studio music sure sure, sure you know sure. but but you'll go on these where you you go broad live yeah. as well. You you yeah. extend, you add certain things to a song. Like, had you always been that performer? Yeah. Yeah. I love showmanship is very important to me. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't even think I would know how to lip sync if I tried. So my yeah. mic is on and I'm moving. So I have to make sure I'm exercising. I'm breathing right. You know, I come from the school of like I studied Prince. Yeah. I studied, you know, the James Browns of the world. Um, I love David Bowie for different mm-hmm. reasons. You know, his his and his his theatrics and costuming. I also, you know, came under Beyonce mm-hmm. and Usher and watching them. Like those are like you can't come after that right. and be thinking you go, you know, do something like I, I respect live performers and I always want to make sure that I I love it too. It's fun. Like I'll have some things that I'll have in my mind that I wanna do, but I always leave room to like improv. Right. So I might go out in the audience and get on the floor with everybody and crowd surf and come back right. and, and, and scream. Like you and, don't know what you're doing and, from one night to the water. next. No, that's yeah. the thing. It's kind of, it's performance art for me. And I, I love it. I'm so excited about touring. So what is going down with the album? Ooh. Go ahead and drink that. I keep, every let time she go to drink, drink, I ask her another mm-hmm. question. <laughs> <laughs> she gonna well, walk we'll out of here and be like, dude, I am so I'm thirsty. Not, you know what? We're just floating right now. Hello. You know, we're staying on this float journey. Um, but yes, I'm 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 fully back. I went when I went to go shoot Glass Onion, I came back, I mixed and mastered, you know, a project that I'm super excited about. Um, yeah, man, it's gonna be it's 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 I don't you know what? You know what I told myself this time around? I'm not talking over the art. I'm not talking over the experience. Mm. It's like it's a it's a frequency. You either you either on it with me, tap in, or you you tapped in, mm-hmm. or you know we'll catch you next time. I heard or that. Hey, that's hey, man. So with you being, and, and it's not the accolades. It's not the. Mm-hmm the you know the nominations you know what i'm saying and either the wins or the non-wins yeah you know what i'm saying you just it seemed like you enjoy creating oh yeah. and whatever comes from creating yeah let it fall where it falls i love it you know i've always been that artsy kid turning you know creating something from nothing mm-hmm. whatever you're given you know honestly when you when i think about just life and 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 how I was raised I'm sometimes it was you know difficult because when you don't have the financial means or your parents working every just like Christmas was stressful because it was mm-hmm. always like where to pray you know yeah. your mama hustling trying to get money for presents and things like that like I grew up I've seen what it's been like to be poor mm-hmm. what it also has been like for me to be an entrepreneur and to make my own money and to be around you know people with more uh, assets than me. I've seen like all of that and I've tried my best to stay balanced mm-hmm. and, and to, 
to 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 also keep it simple. Like don't, you know, when it's time to create, I don't need to have everything to make something special. Your simple looks hard. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just gonna keep it real with you. Your simple looks extreme, and, and I mean it works for you. But it seemed like you work hard, as opposed to like yeah. mailing it in. You know, <laughs> like with me, no matter how many years I've been on radio, at some point yeah. they're gonna figure out. They're gonna be like, "Yo, he's not really in there doing that." <laughs> you know? No, it's an art. They're gonna be like, "Ah, he's just getting by." You know? What no, I'm it's an art to sustaining it- your energy and your oh. vibe. We'll mm. notice if you shift, mm. if you down, mm. you know what I mean? Yeah. Like you're an actor. Right. You stop that. I see you. Yeah. I mean, I know that it's coming from a gene because you care. Mm-hmm. So you have to, we have to go into characters. We go into characters every single day. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. You know what I mean? Which version are you going to get today? And you, you know, know what I tell people as well? And I think that's why I went to this spot called the Hoffman Institute, right? Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. I did seven mm-hmm. days there, then two days of integration. And, you know, I still write and I'm going back in March just for a tap in, so on and so forth. But I always like I've learned how to use the mic as well. Yeah. But sometimes, you know, and I could be big boy and that's me. Yeah. But sometimes in life you seem like your representative. Yes. And Ooh. I got to a point where I was like, OK, yeah. the representative has been there quite a bit. Like yeah. I got big boy. Yeah. I got big boy. Yeah. I'm working on Kurt Alexander. Ooh. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like I big boy. I, man, I can I do big boy are. with my eyes closed. I, I feel Kurt Alexander, so I got to have my that. eyes open and soaking up all this shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's what I've been working on. And the more I work on Kurt yeah. Alexander, the more yeah. better big boy would be, the more better yeah. dad would be, the more better husband would be, brother, yeah. friends, so on and so forth. You I know, love that. Uh, side piece, as you would call me. You know, those <laughs> yeah. kind of things. You know. Side piece. Nice. Wow. Don't believe what, what, you, what, you, what, what this, you got going on? All these inward crushes. I don't. It's her. Man. All these inward you got crushes, me. man. Him you too. Got him me. too. Don't stop him. Ooh. That's your husband. Yeah. That's your husband. Yeah. Yeah. Y'all are. And, and you y'all know what? A little I can say that. Have y'all seen one of my favorite shows is Severance? Have y'all Severance? seen Severance? Oh, yeah. do you oh see my God. everything? I know how. So how do you do you didn't all see this? Se- I, I, just, we'll talk I about heard later. that. Yeah, That's the know. show. So what is Severance? Severance is, is like, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. Okay. It's one it of the yeah. best shows. It's so sick. I mean, just thinking about because they they literally sign up for this program that Severance is their two different lives. Like when they go to work, they have their work life, oh, and that's shit. all they know. When they get on this elevator and they go oh. out, they're different people, and they have no clue of the who other they side of the other side yeah so you're almost like two people but physically yeah. one body but two minds a maybe two minds, the severance yeah. of the I totally mind. understand yeah. mm-hmm. that's like when i'm out of here when y'all try to say hello yeah. to me and i don't speak to y'all <laughs> <laughs> they're like uh, 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 yes severance. that's exactly you, need to, you would love that show oh it's man so good you know it why and good. the reason why is because you explained it way better than they ever have <laughs> yeah. This is the first time I heard of Severance. I know. It's just that when I asked Louie, no, I'm like, Louie, what it. about Severance? You're like, oh, it's a, mm. I'm, I'm <laughs> on work mode right now. <laughs> no, it's, no, it's yeah. it. It's great. And, and what is that on? It's Apple, on Apple, it's on TV. Apple. Ah. Yeah, it's one of the best shows to me that came out last year. How do you find that time? Oh, you find time for things. Like, and, and, as, and as I'm meeting with directors and people, oh, like yeah. you find your writers. You know, I released mm. a whole book about memories being stolen. Like my world, big boy, I could go from sci-fi to jazz to hip hop Mm -hmm. to and this is not like this is just like I I love art. I love creating. I love good writers. And those are some of the best writers right now on that show. And so I have to know. I'm like, you know, Mm -hmm. I need to know who's I gotta check this out. Have you seen it, Ani? No, I want to. It's sounding cool. What about you? Have you seen it, Wacko? Okay, so it's the three of us. It's three on three. Y'all wanna fight? (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) You need to watch it, but it's not too late. No, no, no. They're, 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 they're only on second, uh, they're filming the second season. Okay, yeah, so there's only been one so far. Okay, yeah, so it's not like season. four seasons. No, of, and it's not long. The episodes are not and... super long. It's not a whole lot of episodes. Like you, you the can first one's it. a little long, but then all the, yeah. the other ones, like they, yeah. they're much shorter. All right, we're going to bring you back just to have a severance talk. <laughs> yeah. Watch you. party. Uh, yeah. Yes. And, and not that I don't like being a part of certain things because I'm secure with not being a part of everything. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that, that was more working patterns that I worked on. But 
but I do want to be a part of this severance crew. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I want to be like, oh, Yes, you need to know. Because everybody lit up. You it's know what I'm saying? I was, and, 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 my and have you seen everything everywhere uh, all at once? That's it's a movie you got to see. You've seen that too? Yeah. Jesus yeah, Christ. that was like I, I outside seen, of Glass Onion. I haven't seen that e. was one of yet. my favorite. You what? know what I'm saying? I haven't seen ET yet. So <laughs> okay, you, I'm, I'm, you I'm, backed some work up. To do. I'm so behind. You, you know what I'm saying? You you backed up. And, and this is called what everything, <laughs> everything everywhere all at once. It's it's really really good. It's great. Jesus, Christ. I cried like three times. That's why I keep playing the same parts in movies. <laughs> <laughs> you know yes, what I'm you gotta <laughs> expand yeah. your horizon. Yeah, man, Did you know the little kid from Goonies? Yes, the actor. I've never seen Goonies. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm gonna, let me tell you, it was eight of us, seven kids, <laughs> seven. growing up with a single parent. Yeah. All righty. I Incredible. was the entertainment. Yeah. yeah. You know, I would have to be going, E.T., phone home. Like, we didn't, none of us saw E.T. So, you were the method actor in your family. I was the method <laughs> actor. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I played James Brown in the hey. household. Yeah. You know, so while y'all out going out to the movies, <laughs> I had to be at you the house. You the Oscar. Yeah, man. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. The, yeah. the Oscar. Sure. We yeah. called it at our house. The Oscar. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? You were nominated for an Academy Award? or No, I was never nominated for okay. an Academy Academy Award. It's greater later. No, it's fine. I don't, yeah. I, it's, it's cool. Um, but the films the that films, I was in. Gotcha. So my first film was Moonlight. Hello. That got nominated. And then Hidden Figures Hello. was my second Hello. film. And so both of those were nominated in the same year for Academy Awards. So when I went, I was going for both of them. Do you walk different when you have that? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> no. I, mean, like, like, I mean, I was proud. I want to sit it here. <laughs> you know? It was a lot. I mean, doing that press tour, I literally would have to change from clothes like if i was doing photos the with moonlight my moonlight clothes. family <laughs> and it was like okay okay oh yeah. it's hidden figures family that's why you're wearing was... them half outfits and shit like, right. <laughs> that's right she turned like, to the left yeah yeah look one. yeah Victor um, victoria like mm. yeah <laughs> <laughs> but those were like super important you know black films yeah that, that told our stories and is it crazy um, to be a yeah. part of that because at one at one point you just like i'm happy yeah. that it was made yeah i want to go see it you know what I'm saying? The the historical yeah. pieces that's in there, but yeah. to be a part of it. Oh man! I what is that to be a part of? I can't tell you the number of people that are like, my kids love yeah. science because they saw your role. Like they want to be in STEM now, or with Moonlight. You know, my 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 son, you know, is 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 gay. You know, is queer. I know be I know how to be an ally. I know how to support my kid because of your role as right. Teresa. And I think that's what movies and storytelling in Did general. Did you know that in the pages that it was going to be that impactful? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. When I, I read, I read it, I think I was sitting in economy on Delta and I had my um, hood over my head and I was just remember crying, just thinking like, we need this film. Like, this reminds me of my little cousin or, you know, somebody, it was like, we have not seen this and this representation is going to free a lot of people. That's beautiful. Yeah. For sure. Do you still go back and watch? I haven't watched a movie yeah. like in a while, but do you, you know, ever trip like if you are passing by a TV or something? You know, how sometimes yeah. you'll go through channels and something like, to be damn, on. You're like, oh damn, me. I'm in that. Yeah, sometimes, sometimes, yeah. especially when you're like with family and friends, and they're like, "Oh, they're playing Hidden Figures," and I'm like, "Oh, that's good." <laughs> yeah. Like that's so <laughs> that's like, so oh, sweet. You know my work. I mean, <laughs> when Glass Onion came out, everybody was like, "We're watching this mm. together." When it came on Netflix, it was like, "We're watching." I had to watch it. I've watched that movie a lot. Because it's super fun, like the and you had to have sit down party. Pe mm -hmm. You know how some people are like I with different watch that groups. With you. Yeah, your friends come over, they want to watch. Do it. Then they watch that? me. They want to watch me watching me. Yeah. And I'm like, I'm not about to do I'm this like, with you. They're like, girl, turn it down, do the lines. <laughs> and they and they put the camera on like. Watching Glass Onion <laughs> with Janelle on it. <laughs> Look who I'm here with. I'm like, oh, oh my God. Oh stop. my God. I would do that too. Stop. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Hell yeah. Because <laughs> I, mean, like, I know that I would look at you if I was sitting down. Yeah. I, they want to see. Like, Hey, man, I remember, and, and this is, I'm going to pick this up after I drop this. I remember I was in the studio with Michael Jackson. Boom. What? Hello. Okay, uh, come on. Hey, man, but it was times when I was watching him when he didn't know I was watching him. Wow. Where I was just like, oh my God. Like, you know, and he was, you know how Michael would beatbox and dance and stuff. And he you was. You saw all that? Oh my God. I was sitting down and I was like, this motherfucker. Like, this is, wow. you know what I'm so, yeah, so I had, uh. but I know if I was sitting down watching one of your projects, I would glance. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, you want to be like, ooh. Yeah. Is she like, 
Did yeah. she believe that? And then it'd be right that there? awkward moment where you would catch me and I got to do yeah. that. <laughs> <laughs> yes, please, because it's awkward. I mean, you know, but the good thing is, is when you do a role for me, I don't see myself on the screen. I see that character. Gotcha. So I'm not really as like, if I felt like I didn't believe me, then I would be like, I'm not watching this right. with y'all. But I, I believed. And you're that comfortable. I, was, I saw the spirit of those characters. Beautiful. I went, I was like, I didn't see Janelle Monet. I saw like the spirit of 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 who was on that page that I was trying to honor. Janelle Monet in the neighborhood for real, for real, for false for false. Okay. All right. She's never been to Disneyland. For real. You've never been I've to never Disneyland? I've never been to Disneyland. No. Never. Do you think you'll ever yeah. go? If somebody wants to take me. Well, we're giving away tickets. Gonna... No, right. <laughs> Please. Oh, my God. That's crazy. I and would love. Let me tell you now. And there's some things like I've made it this far that I'm like, oh, like I've never smoked in my life. Right. <laughs> and I'm like, I made it this far. So now it's like a competition. It's like yeah. a thing for me. Yeah. You know, like if I've Why never do you been. Smoke? What, what's the... I just never have. Yeah. I just never, never have. Had a design yeah. To. Yeah. Okay. And I got drunk once. Oh wow! Yeah, I got drunk once. I was like, "Man, I'm going to, I'm you going to try." You said I'm naturally high. Yeah, I'm there naturally it is. Drunk. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. And drunk. then both yeah. times when I, I, I did a uh, hot box with B Real, <laughs> where he does these interviews where he puts you in a Cadillac and everybody's supposed to smoke. I don't smoke. Yeah. So they just hot box me out. I thought I was going to die. Wow. That day. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. that was a bad experience. Okay. And Never. then the one don't time when I got drunk. It was a bad experience. Yeah. Yeah. So well, you got to know you. Everybody should do what feels good. You should get high them. and drunk and go to Disneyland. I should. Put them, put them all together. Yeah, <laughs> I, I would do that. that no. I should. I'll, I'll carve out some time. Don't nobody text me. Don't call me. I'm going to take That's my friends. That's crazy and let's that just you've do it. never been to I've Disneyland. I've never been. I've always wanted to go. Um, you know, we we just, I mean, growing up, we couldn't afford to be taking them you. trips. I hear you. But I do, I, I'm going to go. I'm gonna all righty. Uh, she has 49 first cousins. For real. For real. Absolutely for real. Yep. And I know How all of their matter? names. <gasps> it's too early right now. but I, <laughs> So I have an aunt who had 13 kids. Yeah. I have an uncle who had like 15, 16. I just found out two of two new ones like a few years ago. Um, and then you have, a, my mama had nine sisters and two brothers. Oh my lord! So yeah, Whoa. so you definitely can't get yeah. fa give family tickets to a concert, right? Damn. When I go home, it's hell. <laughs> yeah, you know, Everybody mad. You you make sure that I when they when tickets. they route your tour, you're like, no, nah, we ain't stopping there. <laughs> You're like, no, man. <laughs> You're like, nah, man. No Stop. home grown for me. Not at all. Right. It's, it's, Believe yeah, that. It's, it's a thing. And Be I love, and so I always, I grew up, like, if people was trying to mess with me, my cousin. Oh, my Lord. I didn't, I, I, I when they talk about, about a I had nation. 12 of them. <laughs> yeah. That would come uh, out. Like, man, hey, don't even I mess with her. I loved it. All righty. For real, for real, for false, for false. Before hitting it big, Monet paid the bills by working at Office Depot. I did, for real, for real. You got fired from Office Depot? I, I did. I got See? fired. No, they, oh my they God. let you go. They let yeah. me go. And then yeah. I wrote a song called Letting Go. See? <laughs> I did. See how God That was worked? like one of my first. And <laughs> that Big is Boy the and Outcast put that out. And, that was and then kinda, Big Boy asking about it. Yes. See, see how it is? Look how the See universe, this? Come on. universe work? <laughs> wow. Come on now. Yeah, come on. We don't write this. Yes, I did. You know did. what I'm saying? All right. When you lose the gig at Office Depot, do, is that devastating or you know like ah. it's like it's all or nothing it's like you yeah. say you want to be like an artist I just want to be an independent artist if I could pay for my own apartment mm -hmm. pay for gas in my little Mitsubishi I had a Mirage at the time ah, if see? I could put gas in that that was it I didn't, so I didn't you had the Mirage lot. not the Gallant I didn't have the Gallant ah, so that Mirage. would have been a for false for false that was my next question and I used to play NERD Oh my God! I, was, I just I'm just going back. I would always play N E R D. Um, was it Seeing Sounds? Anyway, I would always play that in that car and just be riding around. Didn't have a lot of money, but it was it it made me start getting serious about like writing and working and yeah. She once lived seriously. in a boarding house <gasps> with six girls. For real, for real. That Damn. was during that time. Got like fired, when you had there. when you live yeah. with six girls, right? Yeah. Well, oh, is it five plus you or seven together? It's five plus me. Okay. And we each had our own room. Okay, I was gonna say, where do you carve out we space? We was on campus. We lived. I lived on campus, uh, right by Club Woody, Morehouse, Spelman, Clark, AUC. Mm. 
Um, but I went to community college because I, I couldn't afford that. that tuition. Did you ever walk by the campus or get on campus? Oh, what? You know what I'm saying? I like, was the campus darling. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. I'll be sitting on the stairs just playing my guitar for anybody that would listen. And these were like the most beautiful black, just like creative fun like these were people that you got a sense like y'all y'all trying y'all trying to do something so mm. being in that it made me want to be greater at what it was that i was trying to do and i would just write music and they i would sell my cds out of my mitsubishi um mirage yeah when she was eight years old she bit into a raw onion thinking it was a shaved <gasps> apple who told you all these things that's nathalia oh my god Sorry. for real for real <laughs> i hate and the i when I found out the movie I was going to be in was called Glass Onion, oh. I was like... You're like, I ain't doing that. No. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's the universe. Yeah. <laughs> you yeah. know what I'm saying? I didn't tell them until later. I said, let me do the... Let me let me get the role. Um, but yeah, I bit... One of my cousins... This is so funny. My cousin was Muslim. We... Sh they couldn't eat pork. Mm. I was eating bologna. I was eating Lunchables. I was eating all of the stuff that little kids would eat. And my mom used to shave apples for us. I don't know. She would cut right. them up. <laughs> So my cousin, we sitting there watching cartoons. And she was like, oh, here. Puts out what I thought was a shaved apple. And it was a motherfucking raw onion. I could not get that taste out of my mouth hey, dude. for three oh. days. Can you taste it or feel it now? Oh, my God. Yeah. It's replaying. I want to strangle her. <laughs> Is she in town? No. Because we're going to send <laughs> no. with you with the video camera. But I'm going to get her back. Uh-huh. I ain't hey, even going to say leave, her name. Leave two tickets for her at your next show, but don't leave, really leave them. Right. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Put some onion. Put yeah. Some, yeah. Put some and, onion. And have some onion in the yeah. oven when she opens it. If you were ever to be approached to play an actual artist, like a legend, like, you know, we recently yeah. saw Awesome Butler play Elvis. Is there an artist that you would be like, I can do that? Ooh. Or would even want to. Ah, you know what? I'm actually developing. I will be playing uh, a bicon, a legend by the name of Josephine Baker. Mm. I cannot wait. And it's a story um, that not a lot of people know about. But Josephine Baker was a spy for the French resistance. Like she helped mm. take down Hitler and the Nazis when they occupied France. Mm -hmm. And France was a place that welcomed her. Paris welcomed her with open arms when America wouldn't even let her perform in, you know, some of the clubs. Yeah. And so this is somebody who had a chateau and a Bugatti, you know, um, who was just like had all the agency in the world, bisexual, just bold and beautiful. And at the height of her career, she said, I'm going to go, you know, I'm going to do what I need to do to get these evil people out. Oh. out of out of France mm -hmm. and to protect us and uh, yeah so it's going to be a TV show I'm doing it with A24 they're such with a great company. Company. company aren't yeah, they, they cool are. yeah yeah they're really really good and we did Moonlight together that yeah. was my first film so to be able to like be partnering so cool. with them on this so that's what I'm focused on now you get to do the banana skirt mm -hmm. all of that yeah. I cannot wait <laughs> so I'm iconic. ready it's going I gotta learn French hello oh she so you gotta dive five, in this woman was so cold like she spoke five different languages she spoke german english like it it's insane hey, so i have a lot of got work. you ready for this too mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you're like all I'm right ready. What, what's, what's five which five languages you have to learn <laughs> well thank you for coming into the neighborhood and hanging out yeah. with thank us it's you. always good to have your energy oh man you're man. good and i love to hear you talk about just like therapy oh and, yeah and and you know with your audience and when i think about just those who identify as men and, you know, being non-binary myself, mm -hmm. I deal with things in energy. So I deal with things in like hardness versus softness. Mm -hmm. And I think that what I was hearing you say is that you're tapping into and, and maybe I'm wrong, but there's a balance that you're tapping into. And, and that I feel like everybody is trying to figure out is that balance of the hardness versus the softness yeah. and yeah. leaning a little bit more on being more soft. Yeah. And that's one of the things that I'm focused on. And, and I love that you having this platform and, and us having these conversations. We talked a lot about that. But if we can just be a little bit more soft, mm -hmm. I think that the world will start to heal a little bit more in so, on so many more levels, um, especially when, when I think about black men. Mm -hmm. And I think about just like for so many years, so many decades or centuries, it's been this performative version of what masculinity mm -hmm. looks like and should be. And 
yeah, I just wanted to tap, double tap on that and say I, I appreciate you, you know, opening up about that and and uh, to more softness. Let's do a cheers. There it is, right there. To Hold more on, softness in the now. world. Oh, Hello. Give me some liquor, man. To <laughs> more. <laughs> you don't drink, but that's all right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm gonna leave y'all with a toast. Okay. Mm-hmm. To the lives we lead. To, to the, the lives we lead. lead. To the dreams we chase. To, to the dreams we chase. To the moments that we make. To, to the, the moments, moments that we make. And the fucked up shit. We can't erase. And the, and the fucked, fucked up, up shit we can't, can't erase. erase. Cheers. Hello. Oh. <laughs>